A big what's up there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. More Team USA news coming at you. Earlier this week, in preparation for the 2024 Summer Paris Olympic Games, USA Basketball dropped its final player pool for its national team trials. 41 NBA players have been selected to battle it out to see who makes the final 12 roster spots that will eventually indeed represent the United States basketball program. The usual suspects are in contention, Kevin Durant, Jason Tatum, Damian Lillard, who helped USA win gold at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, Japan, as well as Stephen Curry, who was not shown in the graphic, interestingly enough, good old LeBron James, who hasn't played in an Olympics since 2016, plus a few young boys and Edwards, McCall Bridges, who both played in the FIBA games, the FIBA championships last year, round out the list. There are so many good players reading through all stars, all NBA teams, which makes sense because they are the best in the country. Anyway, when it comes to snubs, there's one guy that I have in mind and do not call me biased here because it is true, but Tyrese Maxey is nowhere to be found and I have a bone to pick. There's no way you have Walker Kessler and Austin Reeves above him or over him. There is like legit no way. Maybe it's just more of a fact that like there is too many guards on the list, but I digress. Knowing him, he'll probably just use this as motivation anyway. Now all in all, this Olympics will be very special coming off of the scandal where Team USA track runner Noah Lyles made remarks that NBA champions aren't actually world champs. You know, the thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? The United States? <laughs> that ain't the world. That and the fact that Team USA basketball were smacked during the FIBA World Championships last year was all the fodder needed for LeBron James and all the old head company to re-enlist their services. It is crazy to really think that this may be Bron, Steph, Harden's, Chris Paul's, you know, last chance, last Olympics to actually play in. And for that specific reason right there, I'm inclined to say that I high key want an old head national team this year, bro. Like just for my own personal gratification, but also for like the NBA as a whole, like put your best bulls out there, put your best seasoned bulls out there. Maybe not CP3 per se, but throw like, you know, a Jimmy Butler in that joint, fill out the rest of the spots with vets like Embiid, who also isn't in this graphic, and Kyrie, and just let the young boys rock until 2028. No one really cares. I guess if you want a younger audience to watch your team, maybe you throw somebody in like, like an ant. But um, I think we actually have a chance to give a love letter to this generation, my generation. But yeah, let me know in the comment section who you think will make it to the last round, the last 12 spots. I'll talk to y'all next time. Peace.